Hey there, welcome back to a new video on how to do marketing using LinkedIn lead generation forms for your fabrication business. Guys, you already know that LinkedIn is a great platform for professional networking and people generally use to hire people or to get a job. But guys, do you know that you can use the same platform for generating leads of their business of your business as well? Here we have taken a, an example of fabrication and welding business. So why we have chosen LinkedIn for this business? Guys, suppose that you have a fabrication business and you want a client who want uh, their office space renovated or you want to construct a whole new office. So this is a big shot deal for you. So where you can find this kind of lead? You can find it on LinkedIn because in LinkedIn we have founders, we have uh, managers and we have many big roles out there. So let me show you an automation process which is going to generate leads via LinkedIn and automatically on getting the leads you can send your brochures, your offers on the WhatsApp of the leads automatically. And guys it will drastically improve your business and save your time as well. So we are going to set up this automation without any coding. Let's begin. To set up this automation guys we are using Pavli Connect which is an automation and integration tool and this is the landing page of Pavli Connect and I'm going to paste the same link in the description as well so that you can sign up for free from here and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So you can just sign up right now after that sign in and select Pavli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect application. Guys here we are going to create a workflow of automation in which we are going to integrate a LinkedIn lead generations form and a WhatsApp API business provider. Okay, so click on this create workflow button. Here you can give a suitable name to your workflow. So I'm giving the name here as LinkedIn. All right, after giving such names, you can click on create button and your workflow page will load up like this. And on this page, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. Okay, so with the help of these two things, we can set up our automation. So, so here, let me show you guys. This is my LinkedIn advertisement campaign manager. Okay, and from here, you can click on advertise button like this and you will reach the campaign groups page. Here you can create the group of campaigns that you want to run, okay? So I am running a campaign here named as default campaign group. And as I'm going to click on it, you will see the, uh, the lead generation campaign. So this is a campaign currently running in this campaign group, in the default campaign group. And when I'm going to open this campaign, you will see the ads running under this campaign. So these are the two ads currently running, okay? So this is the fabrication uh, package ad. I can show you that by clicking on it. This is the ad I have created for the fabrication business. Okay, so I'm just showing you the demo. You can create more customized and beautiful ads for you. Okay, and here we have this register button. By clicking on it, person can open this lead generation form. <clears throat> So when anyone is going to click on this register button, the lead generation form will open up which is attached with this ad. Okay. So and in that form, we are going to ask a few questions and the phone number of the person. Okay, and we'll collect the details. And as I will collect the as we are going to collect the details, a WhatsApp message will be delivered to the person along with our services brochure. Okay, for that to happen, we are going to connect LinkedIn here in the trigger window. So search for LinkedIn here. Okay, so here you can see LinkedIn lead generation forms option selected, select it. And then select the trigger event as lead new lead generation form response. Then click on connect button. From here select add new connection then click on connect with LinkedIn. All right, so it will bring you to the login window from here. You have to sign in. <clears throat> and here you can see the authorization is successful. So after getting connected, it will show you the account field. So from here you have to choose your account name. So the name of my account is Naveen Kohle. Okay. And this is a 
and from this lead form option you have to select the lead generation form which is associated with the ad that you are running so so here you can see guys in my uh, ad manager in linkedin when you uh, click on manage here on this ad you can see the form associated with this ad here you can see guys in this ad for fabrication the lead generation form associated is this one sample lead generation form okay this is the name of the form connected with it okay and you can associate this form while creating the ads okay and you can separately create the lead generation forms from here from the asset section by clicking on asset you will find this lead generation form option from here you can create the forms after that create the ads and associate any form with that with, with the ads okay now i am going to select the same form here sample lead generation form okay after that guys we we can click on save and send test request button and the most recent lead that you have generated from your lead generation form will be fetched here in the response section so i'll show you the live demo i, I have opened the form here. i have opened the ad here in this window okay in this tab and here i'm clicking on register and this is the lead generation form open up you can see and here it is showing us the test details so we are using test data we are not running the live ads okay we are using the ads to set up the automation the ads are not live yet so it is just showing us the test details it is showing the uh, the sample name of any customer as pably the last name is this subscription billing management service okay and here it is showing us a default email address you can change it and here you can put any sample or test mobile number if you want so i'm just putting here a random number and here i'm going to click on submit okay and you can see the information has been sent the form has been submitted now guys i'm going to click on save and send test request button here and here you can see we have received this response and in this response you can see the email address that we have received okay the phone number we have received and the first name received as pably the last name received here as subscription billing management okay so these are the things we, you are going to receive like this whenever you are going to generate a lead okay now i want to send a message a whatsapp message in which i want to share my business details and my business brochure okay so for that to happen i'm going to use this action step and in this action step i am going to connect with interact application which is a whatsapp business api provider or solution okay so let me show you the dashboard of interact so this is interact application okay which is a api provider for whatsapp and here i am going to search for it in the action step here it is selected then select the action event as send whatsapp template message then click on connect button from here select add new connection and here it will ask for the secret key to be pasted here to make a connection with interact okay so to get this key you need to open the interact application here you will find the settings icon on the bottom left hand side click on it from here click on settings under settings page you will find this developer setting under developer setting you will find the secret key right here you can just copy the key and paste the key here in this field like this and then click on save and you will be connected with interact okay after getting connected it will ask for the country code the phone number the full phone number details so guys here you can see in the previous step in this response we have received the test phone number that we have entered which is here okay so i'm going to map this label here in this step to place the phone number in this full phone number label okay so you have to place the full phone number in this format with the country code nine one is for India. You have to place yours and plus icon. Okay, so to map the label from the previous step, you just have to click here on this field, and the previous step will appear in the drop down like this. And from here you can get the data like this, and from here map the number. So we do not have the plus sign here. So I'm going to manually place the plus sign here like this. Okay, before the number. Okay. Then it is asking for the uh, template's code name. So what is what is a template? So
So guys, to send a message on WhatsApp automatically via automations, you need to create message templates first inside Interact application. And using the templates, we, we are going to send the messages. So let me show you the templates. So this is the template section of Interact. Uh, and here you can create templates using these uh, template library. Okay, I have already created a template. Let me show you. This is the name lead form reply. Okay. And here in this template, you can read the message. Hello, thank you for showing your interest in uh, our company. One of our team members will contact you shortly. Meanwhile, you can check our brochure which we have attached. So in this template, you can attach a document in the header, a video, a image or a, or a text. Okay. And here you can write such kind of message and in these messages, you must place these placeholders in double curly braces like this one, two, three. Okay, because these are the variable things which we can change with every new message that we are going to send with the help of templates. Okay, so you must have these placeholders strategically placed. Okay, now I'm going to select the language. Uh, sorry, you have to place the template code. So where to find the code? You just open the template that you have created in the top search bar, you will find the template code here. Let me just copy this whole link and let me paste it here. Alright, now you can see in the example given here, if this is the URL, you can see when you open the template here, you will find the code name between template slash and slash view. So this is my templates code. Okay, so let me remove these extra things. Okay. All right. So this is my template code. Here it is asking for the language code. So I have created the this message in English language. So the code of English language is en. Okay, for US English, it is en underscore US. Okay, you can see the language codes by clicking on this here word. Okay, then it will ask for the header value. So as I can as I have already sh shown you that we can send a document or any file inside the header. So you have to place the URL of the header here in this header value field. So you can get you must have a publicly accessible URL for that. And for getting the publicly accessible URL, what I have done, I have uploaded uh, the image or a brochure in my WordPress website here. And from here I have got this code, the file URL. So I'm just going to copy this URL and I'm going to place this here in this header value. Okay, you can use the same process to get this URL. Okay, then it will ask for the body variables value. Body variable means these placeholders one, two and three. These are called body variables and you have to place the values of these three things separated by commas in this field. So first value is for the name of the person to whom we are sending the message. So you'll get the name from the first step. Just map the name that you got from the first step. All right, this is the first first name. I'm just going to map the first name only. Then I'm going to put a comma. Second variable is for the business name. So you just put the business name. My business name is Pabli. You can put yours. Uh, Pabli fabrication, let's say. Okay, then I put another comma and the third body variable is for the company's website. So you can put your company's website like this. Okay, so I have entered the body variables. Now guys, the thing that you have mapped here is going to change with every new message because with every new execution of this workflow, that means whenever you are going to generate the lead and that is going to trigger the workflow, these mapped labels are going to be updated and the name of the person will be changed with every new message. But the things that we have ma manually placed here is going to remain static. So this is the importance of mapping the data. So the things that you want to be update, map the things. Okay. So if you want to place any CTA or call to action button, you can use these two th uh, uh, fields. You can play, select the position, you can put a value, but right now I do not want to place any action button. So I'm leaving these two things blank. Now you can check your connection with interact by clicking on save and send test request button. 
and a whatsapp message will be sent to this number but this is not actual number so i'm going to place my number here in that field and then i'll click on save and send test request button and show you the message so guys i have added my number here and here let me click on save and send test request button and let's see if we and we have received the response and here let's check in our whatsapp and here you can see guys we have received a new message and this message you can see it is showing hello pavli thank you for showing your interest in pavli fabrications one of our team members will contact you shortly meanwhile you can check our brochure and this is the website address and here you can see a brochure is also here and this is the same brochure that i have added inside uh, uh, the whatsapp template and this is the same thing that we have received here and all the things in place of the body fields are also changed here automatically in the message because we have mapped the things here so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once after that you do not have to do anything manually in this workflow after that it will run automatically whenever you are going to generate a new lead via linkedin and guys you can use this same workflow as well as i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys if you want to connect with our support team you can email us at support at the .com. you can ask and discuss your queries on our forum via this link and you can check the pricing plans of public connect via pabli.com slash connect hashtag pricing and guys if you like our videos do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much